What's up guys? Isaac here. Uh, today we're gonna change a subscriber's uh, oil and trans fluid. No. <laughs> I, mean, I am a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got an 09 Chevy Aveo here and it's got black transmission fluid and the oil change needs to be done. Uh, they just drove up from Medford, Oregon, uh, 10 hour drive, and they had some rough uh, shifting while coming up here. So we're just gonna go ahead and change it, change the filter, and it should be better shifting now. I've had the same issue. It's only got 54,000 miles on it. Um, if you have a Chevy Aveo, comment if you have missing paint like this. Uh, this car is like in really good condition. The paint is in really good condition, but it's just coming off. It's just flaking off. It's crazy. So yeah, let me know how your guys' Chevy Aveos are going. Don't forget the emblem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he shut the hood and the emblem just fell off. So they did not use very good adhesive on this. We got an Ecotec here. They actually have two Chevy Aveos. This one's the automatic one and the luxury one, and it sucks. The manual with no AC, psh, that thing goes, it's a champ. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's find the tools we need. We're gonna do the trans drain pan first. Uh, what you need is a 14 millimeter for the drain plug. Make sure you do the drain plug first, drain it all out, and then you have a 10 mil for all the bolts on the outside of the pan to get to the filter. All right. I didn't know the threads were that short. Look at that. It's Damn. a little guy. Here's some fluid here. You can see the color. Look at that. It's just brown. All right. So we have the plug off, right? And we want to take the pan off. But it keeps dripping. So as we take this off, we're going to get oil on us, fluid on us. So what you do is put the drain plug back in, hand tight. And you want to take off all these bolts. Once you're done taking off all the bolts, open this and drain whatever fills back up in there and then plug it take it off I'll, I'll demonstrate drain pan <laughs> so much better with power tools huh it takes half the time with power tools. okay so I have it almost all the way off I'm gonna redrain this plug because a little bit more should have filled up nope it's all coming out of the back and I'm gonna remember to tighten this after I put this back on. And the only way I can remember is when we start the car and it starts leaking. <laughs> All right, so last bolt, I'm going to hold it here and take this off. It shouldn't just fall off because it's got a gasket, but it could. See, it would have. Boom. There she is. So here's your old uh, transmission filter. Very simple. You got a bolt here. Um, one bolt there maybe, and then there should be one on the other side. Yeah, three bolts. And they look like they're 10 millimeter as well. So look, guys, this is a rubber gasket. I'm gonna actually replace it just because look how easy it is. So if you're confused on which bolts to take off while it's in there, just get your new one out of the box, and you see we have the three bolts right there that hold, would only hold this in. So that makes it very simple to kind of like look at the one that's in there and figure out which bolts come out. It's got a little cork gasket on there. Cool. <laughs> Nasty. Wear gloves when you do this, guys. So that's it. It's out. Old one. We'll just set it in there for now. So we got the new one. Um, there are a lot of bolts in here. It could be very easy to forget where they go. Uh, we have one hole there, one hole there, one hole there. Looks like where it goes. And we see we have our cork here, and then there's a little hole there. That's where I assume the pressure comes from. So I'm just gonna hold it up. Try not to touch the screen there and damage it. It looks like a pretty small micron screen. It means it filters out very small material. Which is why you could have issues if that gets clogged with bigger material. It won't allow much flow. So just kind of what I do is I just put a couple in loose, get the position in, make sure you have all the bolts in before you tighten one because even though the holes are for the bolt, they still have a little bit of play and it could cause you to cross thread another. 
I'm going to put it in with this real slightly. Not too tight. Get your ratchet or your torque wrench. And you're going to put it on here and just a little snug. Look at your factory manual or you might have to find some sort of maintenance manual to check out the torque specs. Um, if you want to make sure you do it correctly. But you just do it nice and snug. And I've been a mechanic for a while so I can tell like this size bolt, if I were to freaking yank on it, it would snap the head off and you would, you'd be in a world of trouble. So just real good and tight is good. There shouldn't be a ton of vibration. I know it is a transmission, but it should not back these out if you tighten it in real good and snug. Uh, what would you rate it on a one to 10 scale from a non-mechanic? Uh, I feel like I could have done it. So maybe like a four or five. Four or five out of 10 uh, for this. Uh, maybe even watching my video, you should. <sighs> I don't see why you couldn't do it. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. So now we have the old oil pan. I dried off the, the rim of it. And we're gonna use our new gasket. Try and keep it clean. I'm like, oh, how does this thing go? Just look at it. Do your best at figuring that out. That's all I can say. So just lay it here. Looks good. All the holes are good. Now we're gonna bring it up. Remember, if you let loosen this drain plug, it's still loose. So make sure that's the last thing you tighten. I've made that mistake, and it's very possible you could too. So now, if you have a friend, it would be nice because they can help you kind of hold this up while you put the, the gasket in. So we're going to do this off camera because I'm going to have him help me. So thanks for being here, Isaac. All right, we got Isaac doing all the work now. I'm the cameraman. <laughs> so basically, he helped me, and I made sure that kind of line these up press it up you can see the the threads through I got one here you want to get them all across the way before you tighten them down real good and we're gonna put the rest of these bolts in and once we get there we'll go ahead and I'll show you you know I'll do the same thing I'll hit it with the impact nice and slow and then use my wrench to tighten these up but all right so now I'm just tightening it up with the rad impact basically using it as an air ratchet I'm not impacting I'm just getting it ready to torque with my ratchet, torque wrench, whatever. Okay, they're all tight. Now we use a ratchet so that way I can physically feel how tight they are. See, they were still pretty loose. But I didn't want to impact them and, and damage them with the force from the impact. Got the pan on, very easy. How long would you say it took? 20 minutes? Yeah, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Um, I just went around twice to make sure these bolts were tight. I recommend using a torque wrench if you've never done something like this, because these bolts can snap easy. Um, and then I tighten up the drain plug good. So definitely recommend torque wrench and find the torque specs. This car is very easy to work on, which is nice, I guess. Okay, so now hopefully you know how to change the transmission fluid in an automatic Chevy Aveo or any other vehicle you have, maybe this can help you. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. More drift content coming soon. And as always, see you guys next time.